So this is uh, May 22nd and um, I put in a queen cell in this hive here. The bees were in checking it out, inspecting it. I actually switched it out and something I noticed was I put the hole in the wrong place. So this is a different place. Also there's this hive is is a lot more conducive for growth and stuff like that um, and cleaner. This one is a lot of dead bees on the bottom, stuff like that. I definitely need to screen the bottoms um, so the waste can fall out and um, or like I just did was switch it out. I just put the frames in there. This had better frames actually. This is one of my second, this is my first generation box. This is my second one. I haven't done that one yet. And um, so there's actually brood in some other cells. There's actually more, you know, there's actually more brood cells in here that hopefully the bees will start taking care of too um, on these frames. And um, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna change out the bottom somehow so that it can, it can we can clean it better. Put wire in the bottom or something. I've got to figure out something. And um, to allow for cleaning. Maybe removable bottoms. Maybe Maybe a wise thing to do is actually use this as a bottom piece, right? Like this piece here. Um, just make the box empty and use these tops, cut out the bottom. And then what I can do is just take this bottom off, clean it, and put a new one back on. Um, I'm liking that. So it, so it becomes a fully contained thing, but you have these bottom, you know, these, these bottoms. And these are really easy to make. Um, on here it's probably the easiest way so so I just have a box without a bottom because if you look in here this is really dirty uh, I took a picture of it but you can see in here all the dead bees and stuff right um, look at this in here see started to build some wax on the foundation wax on the side here so making my own bottom custom these are all custom custom made this is my first generation I actually need to cut this out um, you know so I actually need to cut I'm gonna have to cut this out so there's a way for the bees to come in um, I'll probably just take this one off and then cut out some of uh, you know chisel out so the bees can walk up and down so the idea is they fit and this one here is tight so I need to cut some of this out too so the bees can get in the idea is the bees can get between the frames. But this is only four frames, one, two, three, four. These are actually six. Without the middle piece, you can actually fit six of these little frames in there. So these mini boxes. And my desire is for these boxes just to be, hey, you want bees? Here you go, 5,000 yen. Put up your bees. And um, when they swarm, they call me. I pick up the swarm right and we get these boxes up around Fukui is my goal these boxes are only you know five bucks and uh, really cheap to make Queens make themselves so this one now has bees in it this has bees in it and I'm doing it all different I'm not doing it the same way as everyone else I mean hey you know I'm just you know um, it's springtime, so the bees should be able to feed themselves and stock up and hopefully grow. Um, I'm going to have to redo this box, maybe put a bigger hole in it, you know, a slider thing on it or something so more bees can get in and out. So I'm still evolving these boxes. But I'm evolving them by actually using them, right, and seeing what I need to do. So I know I need to do the bot, I need to do, somehow do the entrance. Um, so they need to be able to clean themselves. You know, I could actually with this here make this a mesh cut out, you know, cut out the middle here and actually make this a mesh, right? So some of these could just be mesh. So just cut out the area here, right? With a, a, a 
jigsaw saw, right? Just put down mesh here and then it can fall off and maybe they can even stack. So if I want to stack it, I just have it like this here and I just stick another box on top, right? It's got the mesh and I can just stack these boxes on top of each other. So I think these boxes are working out. My, you know, they're the cheapest thing that I could come up with. Right? Put this is for condensation. And also stop them from sticking to the top, but it absorbs the water. That's it. So this is the end of uh, um, May 22nd. And bees are still living. I haven't killed them yet. Let's go home now and uh, deal with the family.